Whenever you think about school lighting, you need to think about how you can add the principles of focal glow, of ambient luminescence and of play of brilliance, because these three ingredients you need in every lighting design. It is a challenge in classrooms because normally in classrooms you are just thinking about the functional lighting. But the most important thing is to talk to the people who are building the school and say, what, what is it that you want to achieve? That's our opening question whenever we do something. What is it that you want to achieve? And recently when we do research, one of the complaints is that there's too much noise, too much um, people running too much around, the kids are not being calm. So we've worked with researchers to find out how do we do lighting that actually calms down the children, makes them focus on the task, lower the noise level. And some good research project has recently been launched from, from Copenhagen, where we find out that to be able to switch between different light settings actually influences the noise level significant in the classrooms. So lighting is just not about the visual task, it's about creating the ambience and the mood there. Because when you start the lecture, maybe the teacher gives a guideline for what they're going to achieve, then they start to work in small groups, then they start to present, and every task in a modern school is going to be followed by the light. We need to do lighting for that. It's just not throwing something into the ceiling and hoping the best. It's actually understanding how you teach today, how um, the daily day in a classroom is, um, is going. And if you have suspended fixtures, for instance, in a classroom, you can make sure that the downward component of the light from the fixture creates the focal glow and the up light creates the ambient lighting. So that's pretty easy achievable as long as you have suspended fixtures. It is a challenge if you have recessed fixtures because then you only have the ambient lighting. The thing is to understand how they want to do the teaching in that classroom and try to do the lighting as flexible enough to sustain or to support the, uh, the way of teaching.